The EOS M6 is the content creator's mirrorless camera. Whether you're shooting video or stills, this camera is packed with a lot of great features to help your content stand out. In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at the EOS M6 and help you get to know your new camera. So let's get started. So let's start by putting the lens on. So to attach the lens, hold down this button to the side and rotate the lens. To attach it, make sure that you're lining up the white dot to the white dot. Turn it until you hear the click. On the bottom of the camera, you have the battery and the memory card compartment. To turn the camera on, you have the on off switch at the top here. And you'll notice an error message on the back of the screen just prompting you to unlock the lens. To do this, slide the lens lock button forward and rotate the lens. When you finish using the camera, rotate the lens and lock it back into position. So to do so, again, slide that lens lock button forward and close the lens right down. On the top of the camera, you'll notice the main mode dial. Green is fully automatic. As we move down from that, you have the hybrid auto, the various creative modes, and it goes right round to your manual shooting modes. Next to the main shooting dial, you'll notice the exposure compensation. This is fantastic for making your shots brighter or darker. And to do this, simply rotate this dial to the positive makes your shots brighter and to the negative makes them darker. Underneath the exposure compensation dial, you have this scroll dial. Now this can be assigned to a variety of features within the custom menu. All right, now you're ready to take a photo. To do this, you need to half press the shutter button at the front, half press it to focus, and fully press it down to take the shot. To the right of the shutter button, you have the MFN button. Now, again, this is another button that can be assigned to a variety of different tasks within the custom menu. On the top of the camera, you'll notice a hot shoe. This is for accessorizing with speed lights or an electronic viewfinder. On the far right hand side of the camera, you have the automatic exposure lock. This also acts as a zoom in and zoom out button when you're in playback mode. Beneath it, you have the AF point selection button so you can move around your autofocus points. This is the info button on the back of the camera. It's really useful to toggle through the different display screens. It also has an electronic level, which is really handy for lining up those horizons. On the back of the camera, you'll notice this little red button. This is to record your videos. The camera does have a built-in movie mode to start and stop those recordings, press this button here. You'll also notice in the middle of the mode dial, you have the Q. The Q button is a great way of accessing a variety of the most common used camera settings. So when I press the Q, I can easily navigate around the back of the screen. The Q button is also the set button. So when you're ready to lock those settings in, simply press this button here. On the left-hand side of this dial, you'll notice the MF button. This cycles between autofocus and manual focus, which can then be controlled by the ring at the front of the lens. On the right-hand side, you have the flash on off button. Now to turn the flash on, you simply need to raise it manually by moving this switch to the side. You'll notice the flash pops up. And to cycle through the various flash modes, simply press this button here. Okay, so you've taken some great shots and you want to look at them. You need to press the playback button. That's located at the very bottom of the camera. It's a blue arrow. When we press this button, we can see the shots that we've taken. This is the menu button here. Let's take a quick look at the different menu options. The red is the camera menu. So this will allow you to change a lot of your still shooting modes. The yellow is the function menu. So when you want to change the date, the time, the display brightness, you'll find this in the yellow camera menu. The orange menu is for the custom features. To assign certain buttons different tasks, you'll do that in this menu. And lastly, you have the green menu, which is the My menu. You can customise your camera however you like. The LCD screen, it's fantastic. I love it on this camera. One thing that is really useful, being able to change the angle that I shoot at. This is so helpful for shooting over crowds or getting down low and just photographing from a really different perspective. It's also handy for taking selfies. Another great feature that this camera has is the touch 
function on the LCD screen. It's a really quick and easy way for me to jump in and change those settings on the back of my camera. I love it. In playback mode, the screen is fantastic for zooming in so you can see that your shots are nice and sharp. Now you notice on the side of the camera, you have this little Wi-Fi button. Excellent way of transferring your images straight to your smart device. For more information on how to do that, check out this video in the link below. Above the Wi-Fi button, you have the HDMI port here. You also have a remote cable release plug just above it. Flipping the camera around on the other side of the camera, you'll notice two more ports. One's for a microphone and the other is your USB port. On the top of the camera, you'll notice the built-in speaker and microphone. Beneath these is the film plane mark. This is fantastic for those macro photographers. I hope this video has helped you get to know a little bit more about your EOS M6. Make sure to check out the next video in our series where we'll take a closer look at some of the more advanced features to really help you get more out of your new camera.